play like some mobile games. I, I'm, I'm bringing back guns up. I've been playing Stick War 2 campaign, and honestly, there's a lot of things about the Stick War campaign that I really, really like. Okay, so I gotta meet these guys. Oh, sorry. That's, <laughs> that, that, you're not supposed to be here. Let's get a few more and uh, let's go out and attack them. Actually, you know what? Staying close to base should probably be pretty good. So I've just gotta meet them and stop them. So I'm gonna mix up miners and warriors. Now, the giant's already on his way. I'm gonna- I'm gonna send my guys out to attack to meet him out further away from my mineral line. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's just- he's crushing them. So I- if I would've had an archer out earlier, I probably would've been able to do a lot more. You know, because, uh, whittling him down slowly but surely. There's the archer. Okay, good. The archer's here now. So I learned from my mistakes. And- oh, it looked like he was picking up one of my guys. Ooh, there we go. Okay, now let's go back to defend, because there's nothing to attack, right? It's just this ambush. So let's... Let's bring in the whole caboodle here, the whole crew. We're working on our first spirit, and I'm not sure what the next wave is going to be in this ambush, but it is kind of cool, because... Oh. Yep, sounds like another giant, but look at, look at this giant just, like, sitting in the battlefield like, Hello, Baron. You really hurt my feelings today. Now, once I can afford it, I want to buy another spear tin. Alright, boys, meet him away from the mineral line. Maybe, should I save up for a wizard? Yeah, but, so that was very interesting. Um, in the Stick War 2, I've noticed that, like, being aggressive is better, and I, I feel like I'm just naturally, I naturally am more defensive. Oh my god, he's... Alright, now we defend because, once again, there's nothing to attack. But yeah, I like the campaign of Stick War 2, and I like some of the controls of Stick War Legacy. Now remember, this is a mobile game. Oh, hello there, friends. I think at this time I'm gonna- yeah, I keep pressing number 3 to try to spawn in this because I've, I've been playing so much Stick War 2. Send them a volley! Oh, dude. These poor guys. Oh, here's their first Spearton. Okay. I see you. And I like how I can build all these- these guys, you don't build multiples at the same time. Hey, we survived! We just survived the ambush. Uh, second time's the charm, as they say, and we unlocked a new chest. That's weird. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I can open them. Alright, let's open the chests. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? And it is- ooh. Oh. This is good stuff. Oh, those are actually just buffs to the- to the characters, so it's not like- I like the ones where you get the unit itself. Ooh! We got a skin, and we got a Merrick. Okay, so I like this better. So now let's go to the skins here, and check out- I think it was this guy, right? We unlocked this. Build speed increase, build cost decrease, and user control speed increase, right? So let's equip that. Because right now you can see, like, what we have. I've got this, the Savage, because he does bonus attack to the undead. Because we're doing the zombie mode, uh, simultaneously. Alright, now as far as... This is concerned, let's... I'm gonna upgrade my Sword Wrath. Fully. Alright, so, we're in the Iceland, right? Is, this is cool because the game is simplified and it's probably... When it was made, there weren't, like, not everybody had, like, super good smartphones, and I feel like that's becoming more common. Now, not... So, let's see, the Ice Seals. You found the camp of your enemy's elite leaders. Destroy the elite's statue. Alright, well... I'm gonna get an archer out early. And, you know what, I probably should have rushed. What do I have to attack with? Oh, yeah, I should have sent... Yeah, that's definitely what I should have... Oh my god, that guy came out fast! Did I also make one? No, I made- I made an archer. I think I should have done two miners at the beginning instead. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, wow, so he's definitely going hard in the Spiritans, right? So, a nice mix. Since I just upgraded the Sword Wrath, and I can usually buy a Sword Wrath- Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, I literally have like one dude. That's not gonna be enough. Oh, wow. This is bad. I, it might... Did we just make the same mistake again? Everybody pull back. Oh my gosh, is he, is he, is he pumping out new guys? He's got Sword Wrath. Okay, 
So we'll finish off this one, and then we'll counterattack while we're building up this force. Alright, I'm gonna get my own Spearton. Alright, defend. We just wiped out that, the Sword Wrath retreated, and he doesn't really have much. So I'm actually going to counterattack. While my guys are going, I'm, I wanna attack his mineral line. He's got one Sword Wrath, I'm gonna have four, plus I've got my Spearton with the new... Like, look at how cool he looks. Oh yeah! What's up, boys? Now who's attacking who, huh? Alright, pull back, pull back. I don't- I don't want to lose my guys to these archers. We don't have a critical enough force. Just yet. Just yet. Oh! Three Sword Wrath, okay. Well, you know what they say. Get them, boys! I need to get another miner out. I think I'm kind of slow. And an interesting thing in Sword, uh, is since you don't control the guys, there's no mana. There's no secondary currency, right? Man, I really want this- okay, here we go. I'll invest in that. Alright, now before their archers come back, I pull away, but it looks like- wow, that almost hit- Oh! Right in the back of the head, mate! Jeez. But I like this, I like being a little more aggressive, it's- it's a lot of fun, look at that, he's like, I have failed you, cousin. And you gon- you gon' die. Alright, so let's go ahead and send the attack out. Basically, I'm keeping- I'm trying to keep them from being able to build up a big army. I'm totally changing my style, and this was as to suggestions that I got in the Stick War 2 campaign. And now they retreat. Oh, look at that, I slashed him while he was going, and- Oh, he got hit in the back of the head, but he's fine. And he's not fine. He got an arrow in the head. Alright, so, let's build up some elite forces right now. I'm gonna get another miner, and- I want more Spiritons, because they tank up damage. Okay. I'm gonna send out again. I don't want him to be able to get like more than two to three uh, Spearton's because that's what he did the last time and it really really hurt. Alright boys, come on. Come on. Don't take the arrows in the heads. Alright, we lost one. Do we lose a second one? Oh, we almost did. Where are you going? I'm going over to get the gold, Baron. Yeah, I guess we got so many miners over here. You're, you're gonna have a bad time, friend. You really, you really are. And I can't do anything about it as much as I would like to. I'm gonna invest in a giant. That's exactly what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna charge, and you know, we might just have the critical mass that we need to overtake this guy. So here's a question I've been asking a lot in the Swarm Queen campaign is, do you guys want to see Battle Cats brought to the channel? Is he bringing in a giant or am I bringing in a giant? I'm bringing in a giant, duh. My giant was just made. Alright, so once Gandalf is ready, I call it Gandalf because he's the wizard. Once he's ready, we're- we're going in. And look at this. I'm letting them build up their army. It's so cute compared to mine. I've successfully raided him, and I love my guys. They look like night elves. Or, uh, wood elves would be more appropriate, wouldn't it? it you, you play games like this and you're like, I like the lore. I wish there was more to it. It's- it's pretty good lore, but it's not like- it's not like triple A lore, or like epic lore, like Lord of the Rings, right? Or Star Wars. You could imagine a game like this for Star Wars. Alright, uh... Let's- I don't know why we're waiting. I'm gonna support this with four extra guys who are gonna come in as late reinforcements. My giant is leading the charge. I've got the old wizard who's dressed like a tribal leader. Oh wow, they're already pulling back. They don't want none of this. Now, this guy should attract a lot of attention. Ooh, he had a block! And look at them. I love how the Spearchins approach, man. And boom. Warning! The enemy is called in reinforcements. Oh my god, he's got a giant too. They've got a cave troll. I think- here we go. Question of the day. Aside from the usual, what other games should we play that are like this? Is, what is your favorite movie of all time? I honestly think that Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring is my favorite movie of all time. Black Hawk Down is up there. And obviously, uh, Rogue One is up there. We're going all in, man. We're losing a lot of our army. This troll, our giant, is doing great. And we have conquered the elites. So, I guess they just had elite spiritons. Oh, they also had a wizard coming in, or coming in there late. Alright, so what do we got now? So as far as upgrades go... Um, what does this do? 30% giant health per level? Should we just build super giants? Oh my god, they get bigger too? That's a nice touch. I love that. Alright, so I'm gonna skip this. I'd like to save all these upgrades for, um... 
the zombies mode. The zombies mode is very difficult. So now we're going from the ice hills to the desert, and I'm very curious to finally see, because we started over here on the east coast, because east coast is beast coast, and since I live in Florida, that's the east coast, and I'm a little partial. But now we're going out here to the desert, and I'm very curious what's past the desert. Oh my god, we're in a volcano. Final battle. All your enemies have joined together and vowed to destroy you for taking over their land. Your best chance is to use all the technologies you've acquired through the conquest against them. Okay, we'll get a miner and I'll get some early guys out. Alright, he starts with four miners. I do not. That's cheap. So I'm gonna get all three of these guys out early. And I want to ascend an attack. All right, he's got a spear chin. Of course he does. And look at the volcanic armor that they have. My gosh, this guy looks cool. Should we attack? I think we should. Especially if I, if I had an archer, I would definitely do it. Yeah, he's. You know what? Let's go for it. I've got I've got superior numbers. Attack. He's only got one spear chin at this point, and we've learned that being offensively oriented is pretty good. Okay, he's got two spear chins at this point. How are we doing? We should win the day. And force them into retreat. All right, now we call. We'll probably lose. I'm thinking one, maybe two. All right, boys, stick together, stick together. If I had a Merrick with a healer. All right, I'm gonna call in archers. Now they are still weak, I think. Or when they come to my friendly lines, do they heal up? Let's get one more miner. And as soon as they charge, I'm charging them. So he's got two spear tins, two sword wrath, and an archer and. Um, I've got mostly Sword Wrath army and a few Archidens myself, or rather one Archiden. So I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade on that because basically the strategy here is Sword Wrath has a quantity all its own, uh, a quality all its own in its quantity, right? Um, and the Archidens are gonna be the ones that are going to be expected to get most of the kills. And I'm thinking once the Spiritons done, we'll have one tank unit. We go, we go, boys, we go, and then I'll build up my supporting army. So here we go. That's that's pretty solid. Where's the spear tin? Oh wait. Oh wow, that was that was dumb. That was dumb, and I even called off the attack. I thought the spear tin was there. Oh look, that's why he's he's slowing down a little bit. All right, good. We come on, get him. Yes. All right. Now you know what time it is. It's time to save him for a cave troll. We lost a fair amount of guys there. But we took out two Spiritons, so when you think about four Sword Wrath versus two Spiritons, the economic differential, <laughs> I don't even know if that's the right word, but basically, like, if you were to count out the gold of each, uh, that would favor us. So right now I'm trying to save up for this troll. There we go. Can finally get it. And once he's done, we're going in, baby. We're going in hard. We're going in fast. And I wish I could trigger this volcano to spew lava on them. But they have, they've replaced the Spiritons. I like them, they they got this cool trident look, which is definitely unique. All right, the troll, well, I call him a troll, but he's a giant. The giant is done now. He's on the battlefield. Now the enemy is supposed to be using, you know, everything. But, oh wow, they do have a lot of miners, don't they? All right, once this Spiritons done, and in the line, we're gonna go attack. Okay, he's in line. And uh, now I want to wait for this other archer. Because I don't like how he's he's saving up. He's probably saving up for a giant. Charge! Send in the army. Alright, and right now. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know if the sound effects are from my guy coming in or what. I mean, that's probably what they are. Let's actually get rid of that and save up for a, uh, a wizard. Alright, so here we go. This is the army. The army of the Republic. The army of Tostopia. Oh, and my archers are already chipping away. Warning. Oh, they did call in their giant, but it's too late. Guys, it's too late. The statue is crumbling. I... Oh. Oh, it's a... It wasn't a statue at all. It was a giant? I was not expecting that. What is going on with these volcanoes, man? Oh, my God. Who is this? Who is that? All right, the... All right, I need to resupply my front lines, which is fodder units. Luckily, this guy's tanking up a lot of di Wow. One- Oh my gosh, he's gonna go down. Once he goes down, the Archidens are doing most of the damage, so what I have to do is keep spawning in these guys to keep, like, 
keeping this guy away from the damage dealers, which are my Archidens. Who is this dude? I didn't know there was a boss in this game. I was not expecting that. That's pretty cool. But you know the drill. We are just going to send tons of sword wrath. That is the plan here. Guys, who thinks we should have a base on the moon? I think we should have a base on the moon. All right, this guy's about to go down. Man. All right, nice hat. Very cool helmet. I will end this for the Order Empire. <laughs> oh? Tap. Thus I'm tapping. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we we just did some this is Sparta type stuff right here. There is one unit we haven't gotten yet. And it's this guy. Oh my god. Look at this guy's... He's got a helmet that's like made out of jetpacks or something. It just looks like... What is, what is going on here? It's got... You know what? Let, let's attack. We're gonna go ahead and go on the offensive here. And like, oh my god, I've got my one wizard. Like, this is just probably the biggest army we've ever seen. And we took out that wall in like one hit. This is kind of absurd, and I love how the Spiritans, or as I like to call them, the Hoplites. Oh my god, I can't wait till we have Hoplites and Tabs. I feel like Tabs, I don't know, man. There's been a lot coming, but anyway, back to this. But now back to the good part, look at this. So the giant is just like smashing. What? Man, we got gypped out of one of their one of our premium guys. I had a crash. I don't know what that was all about. Send the army. Oh my gosh, between me and the zombies, we took that wall out so fast. So I'm not sure what I I must have clicked something because we got a crash. Oh my gosh, that's a terrible sight to see the giant poisons. I remember in Stick War 2, the campaign that we've been playing over on Baron von Tactics. These poison-spitting zombies are the absolute worst unit to fight. I hate them. Doesn't matter how good your guys are. They're gonna be poisoned and they will just bleed out to death. And look, we're actually losing some Spiritans right here. So, I think at one point we had over 200 units. Oh my god, look at this. And our army's just trudging down the battlefield, slaughtering everybody. So basically the goal is to end the battle before, before our guys die of poison. But we are losing a decent amount of Spiritans. But we do know that if we need to, I mean, look, we've got reinforcements available. Oh, God. Actually, we don't have too many. We could get the elites, right? So come on, guys. We need, we need to clear out this pod of zombies. What would you call it? It's not like they're dolphins or anything. Would you call them pods? Or would you call them... Herds? Swarms? Hordes. A horde of zombies, that's what you call them. A horde. Like a horde of... Zerglings, or... Rats, or something like that. Like if you're playing, like, Warhammer. I'm actually very excited... For... Total War Three Kingdoms. Like, can you imagine? It's gonna- Ooh, Give me those diamonds! We're still a little bit further away from being able to unlock the chest, so... I'm gonna do this again, and I almost think that... Let's go to the shop. So what I've been doing here is, look at this. Griffin the Great is who we just got. Summon Griffin the Great, the leader of all giants from the depths of no man's land. I wish there was a little more specialization to this. There's a lot of ways that this kind of game could be improved, or rather, in its next variation, right? We've been using Golden Spiritans, we've been using Merricks, now, the elites were a group of elite soldiers from the plains of Westwind. I would like some reinforcements. All right, so now it's time to get right back in the battle. And after a while, like, there's nothing you can... My God, he is so loud. There's nothing you can do. What is good, though, is after a battle is over, you get a heal up. So here we go. It's just a bunch of melee guys. Ooh, we got some giants. I'm gonna let my guys heal up right now. Do a little bit of micro here. But yeah, you can see how, like, I'm literally using a mouse cursor to pull the Merricks up. And because they're supposed to be... Oh, do we see any spitters? Oh my god. I don't know if we see any spitters. Oh, we do have a Reaper. Basically, the Guardian of Doom. You know what? 
Oh, I, I, I thought like Endgame isn't out. It's it's Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel comes out today. Should I see that? Are you guys gonna see that? What movies are upcoming that are good? Look at this guy, man. He throws dead bodies, dude. If you saw a dude that's like, all right, let's guesstimate his height. So this guy's probably a tall dude, six foot, right? Like a little above average. Oh my god, my giant is weak. I don't want to lose him. I can't control him. I can't control the giant. That's not good. That means... Well, I guess we should we should attack because we're kind of... He's just fighting out in the beginning. If he dies, I'm going to be so sad about it. So if this guy's six foot... Let's see. One, two, three, four... I'm guessing this dude's 40 feet tall, and it doesn't matter how tall he is or how big he is, he's gonna die. And you know what? That's enough of that, man. I, I only had him for two levels, and he died? Guys, what's with the attacking? They're just like, oh, you know, we just kinda, just kinda hang back. The Merrick's hang back in the back. We won. The Reaper's like, I'll be back. Baron, you're dead, mate. You're pretty much dead. All right, so now it's time to go to the tournament mode. I always wish there was more campaign. Like, even campaign packs. Like, I don't know, man. Sell them. I want to play them. So we're going to the tournament. I like to switch it up a little bit. So now we get to fight Zane, dude. He's, like, so crazy. What do we got? All right, classic. Team start with a small amount of gold and two miners. Fight to destroy each other's statue. All right, so I've got 15. If we start with not enough gold... I definitely like upgrading my miners. And then we'll make some tanky spiritons. Alright, so basically, you know, going with the goodies. Come on, boys. Come on, we gotta, we gotta, this is, this is a rather plain green battlefield. He's got a sword wrath already. He's not going hard on the economy train. That means we can probably buy some time. And then wait for him to attack, then we counterattack. Or I could also do a rush, but I feel like that's kind of his strategy. I feel like Zane's probably a rusher. He's like, bro, I rush, dudes. All right, Zane, what do you got? More miners. Or maybe he's going to a giant. No, he's got an Archidon and a Sword Wrath. I'm thinking what we do is, yeah, totally Russian, dudes. Das vidanya tovarish v. Dude, imagine if <laughs> imagine you could play this game kind of like with a World War II style, don't you think? All right, let's go. I don't know what kind of units he's massing up there, but I'm gonna go with my three and my Archidin. He's got his. Look, they even got red stars, man. They're Soviets, and then they retreat. Defend. So then we run away, so we don't get shot up. They lose that precious time earning money. Oh god, what? Oh my god, I was like, this is a new unit, it's just an, uh, a Spiritan with a- <laughs> Look at this. I always- I, I don't know, man. I feel like it's kind of immersion breaking, it's kind of like silly. I guess it's fun, it'd be an, al uh, an alternative mode, but I'm like buying into the lore, man. I wanna fight like, the demons of chaos and stuff like that. Alright, you know, we're getting a giant. Boys, go in. I think we got this one. I'm gonna save up for this giant. This army should be enough to keep them honest, basically get them to retreat. We're gonna try to get as many miners as we can, but they're gonna retreat. Style for miles, bro. My name's Zane. All right, dude, we get it, Zane. You're so zany and stuff. That was, oh man. All right. Well, that didn't work out too well. We, we damaged the statue a little bit. He's got two Spiritans. And three Archidens. And I'm basically just spamming out Sword Wrath right now that I've got a giant. I didn't upgrade my giant at all. I did not think Zane was gonna do this. A more conser- I feel like this is rather conservative, don't you think? Zane's being a little conservative, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. This is the accent where you're like, man, I need to go get me some fried chicken biscuits with- with some ranch dressing on it. Alright boys, go get them. What, do you, what, what is your major malfunction, son? Dodge him! Well, that didn't work at all. I have so much money, I know, right? Like, what am, what am I supposed to do with it? Wait a minute. Did he buy a giant? No. It, it, the sound effect always makes it seem like they just got on the battlefield, right? Or maybe that's just me. Yeah, so at this point, I guess Archidens would be good. 
a good way to support our guy. I'm just going in, man. Screw it. Our giant's coming in as the second wave. This one's leading the charge. We got three archers supporting him, so most units should get knocked back. Then they're gonna get some arrows through their eyes. I always felt like if I if I was really good uh, in an archer, like in medieval times, or you know, like like Legolas in Lord of the Rings, I feel like I'd have a trademark shot, and mine would be like through the left high, right? So then we're like, oh man, look how many guys on the battlefield have arrows through the left eyes. Oh. Must be Baron again. Must be doing the thing. Yo, bro, this is getting sketchy. What's sketchy is you just killed my giant. All right, retreat. Retreat, retreat, retreat. We gotta get this giant. Or I don't want to lose my Archidens because we got Spiritons in the front. Spiritons in the front, party in the back. At this point, we just spam them and we go. We got it. I, I, I believe that we will win. Oh man. I, I. I Kind of lost a lot more guys right there. Well, maybe not lost, but they were injured. You know, they they got harmed. Oh, come on, bruh. Many Archidons were harmed in the making of this here video. So yeah, I don't know. I want to make a game like this. I want to have like, ah, uh, it would just be fun. Like, but I wouldn't do like this like funny goofy stuff. Like, I get it. There's an allure to it, but it's not what I'm looking for. You hear that, Zane? I defeated you because I don't like how your soldiers have helmets and stuff like that. Alright, so it's me versus Crazy J in the final tournament. Gold Rush. Teams start with 14 miners and a ton of gold. Okay. If there's tons of gold, then I need to rush his miners as fast as is possible, right? I feel like that's a really good strategy, so I want cheap units. We're going with the basics. We don't need a lot of guys because we'll immediately go three sword wrath, or rather four. Look at this. Oh, and it's all in the middle. And I'm going to send my guys on the attack right off the bat. He rushed a dude as well. My guys look like- wow. Wow, that one, he, his first attack was really good. He's got, are, is he blocking with them? Dude, he did the same thing I did. He's smart. It's a good strategy. So basically like, oh, good, good, good. We're getting into their mineral line, AKA hitting their miners. I call it mineral line because it's like playing probably, oh, good, 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 run away. Like uh, StarCraft 2. That was one of my most anticipated games I remember was what, what? 2009, like, I swear, man, I, I checked up on the website, I did everything. That one, and, um, nowadays it's like, you know, there's lots of games coming out, but I, I don't know if I follow them as intensely. Oh, man, he's got a Spearton. How are we doing? Are we winning this? Yeah. Oh, no. I, I, saw, I saw a health bar, and I thought it was a Spearton, it was a minor. But, he's down. And we got a bunch of, like, jeweled Donald Trump-looking guys out here with swords. Oh, come on! You got a giant? You jerk. Alright, everybody pull back. Everybody pull back. We got his miners down. He's got three of them, right? He's only got three that I can see. We've got full miners. Alright, now we gotta go. We gotta meet him in the midfield. The midfield. Oh yeah, that's right, boy. Retreat. I'm I'm counting on my archidens to do the damage we need. Are you kidding me? I guess that's what happens when it was an unupgraded giant. All right, boys, get that spearton out of here. I don't want him stabbing our guys. He's just running around, dude. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Attack. Attack, attack, I know, right? It seems bipolar, but it's like, it's just the little ebbs and flows of the battlefield. Oh, I guess? I'm occupying, you know what? This is fine. I'm fine with this. I can sacrifice Sword Wrath. Well, now he's sending out his army. Oh, man, he's got one, two, three, four, five miners. Actually, we gotta pull back. That was dangerous. That was smart of him. That was smart. I gotta save up for a giant. Even though I- no, you know. Let's get some Spiritons out there. I forget that they spawn almost as fast as Swordwrath. This is different. 
Actually, you know what? His statue is almost dead, so let's get it. Endless dead. So we're going to skip the intro cinematic. We've done it in the past. Basically, Gandalf gets bit. Now, what I want to do is a giant's only. So basically what happens in Endless Dead is the zombies come from the right side and we have to survive more than one night. Oh my god, the zombies are here! The new one. Oh, these ones are called the deads. Slow moving dead. That will pounce when close. But they're slow. And the pounce stuns and they're weak to headshots. Oh! You mean like if we were to summon a giant? Oh my gosh! Well, we can't get a giant just yet, so let's summon Griffin the Great. Okay, here's good old Griffin the Great. Look at it. He's got a giant helmet. It looks like he's got fire inside of his head, judging by the eyelets. And it looks like he's using just like a piece of like magma. You know what? Let's go. Let's go out and attack and try to protect my miners. Because basically, what we're doing in these early ones is I need to just acquire enough money to keep a gentle supply of giants coming onto the field of battle to support Griffin the Great. And if things get really, really dire, we'll summon in more Griffins. But one of the things I love about this game is just this simplistic tug of war style combat, right? I mean, look at Griffin. He's got some pretty significant AOE with both stomping and smashing, and it doesn't look like Oh, there we go. I was about to say, he doesn't have a health bar pop up just yet, so it's like, has he even been attacked yet? So, he's he's guarding this Spearton right here, and we've got an archer in the back. Now, those guys were given to me at the very beginning. So, I think after we have about 15 miners out there, like, look at this. See, this is, this is my mineral line. Is that wizard dead? Oh, that's the wizard that was bit in the intro cinematic, which was kind of like comic book style. Oh, wow. Somehow we're still losing miners, because... What are they doing way up here? Oh, I built so many, they're trying to harvest gold from the other guys. Gold? What are they doing? Yay! You guys, seriously, what were you doing? And so, after achieving victory, you get these premium pink diamonds, and if you want to watch an ad, you can... Kind of get more, right? So since we're doing giants, let's go ahead and upgrade the giant. Plus 30% health per level? Absolutely! So as the levels go on, you get to keep the units that you had, or that survived the round before, right? So you can kind of see how this is going with the giants only challenge. I think we're gonna be able to go for quite a while, um, especially with a Griffin the Great out here. But let's see. These guys are harvesting, and this guy... Let's go ahead. Okay, so let's see. So here we go. We've got a new type of zombie. This one is a riser. You see how he popped out from underground? They rise in tricky places, and sometimes they can rise in your mineral line, or like where your archers are. They will rise from the ground in random places. Sometimes will even appear behind your army. Yes, they will, and it's pretty scary. Okay, yeah, see right now? They're popping up behind me. So let's go ahead and attack the archer here. This archer is like, I wish, I wish you could like upgrade the archer, like make them like a demigod or something like that. You know, like the one criticism to Stick War Legacy, I think, is that when you think about it, for what it is, it's pretty impressive, but it lacks depth. It's got a number of different game modes that are a lot of fun. Okay, yeah, the, the zombies are behind me. Let's go ahead and buy our first giant now that we got 1500. I wish they would address that, but the fact that they're still uploading a game that was released four years ago is pretty impressive. Now, Android is saying that they have 50 million downloads. Oh my gosh. I'm losing all my... I'm losing all my miners back here to these zombies. This is... This is not going well. Probably the Giants Only Challenge might not work too well because you can't protect your miners as well. You know? Like, look at this guy. This guy's still still out there fighting the Spearton, which reminds me of just, like, 300. And there we go. See, this is Griffin the Great. He's about, like... I would, I would say... This guy's, what, about two-thirds the height? So, the little giant's about 66% the height of a big giant, right? But, like, look at these two. Now that we've got two of them out there, see, look... Griffin uses a num they both use bodies of like, I guess, smaller giants that they beat up to get here. <laughs> it's kind of silly, isn't it? And then uh, the giant magma spike axe. 
So when we go to skins, though, I can't help but wonder, like, do you think we'll get the same skins for the Giants? It's really interesting, though, that this is happening. See, and these are all the skins I have. Like, when you look at the Miners, and the Sword Wrath, the Archidun, the Spearton, and the Magikill. What's really interesting, though, is these skins don't seem to affect Miners. Other than one of them. So now it's time, now that we've got full giant upgrade, let's start upgrading our miners. Roar! Alright, look at that. Two giants, so we lost our archer apparently, which I guess is no good. You know what? I'm gonna make it archers and giants. Like, I think we want, like, one or two archers to help protect the giants. And other than that, we'll just keep the spirit in. Like, we gotta protect the back line, otherwise our strategy kind of falls apart. Okay, so we're gonna keep our guys in the back at the beginning to see if there's any of the risers, as they're called. And then we're just gonna go out here and, oh my god, there- Look at this! Look at this! It's a, it's a bunch of, like, slugs! But instead of slugs, like, leaving those weird glossy trails over your sidewalk, you know, in your front yard, um, instead, they're gonna try to bite your ankles and turn you into the army of the undead. Alright, it's time! Attack! Attack! Indeed, right? It, it, but yeah, I, I think the- going back to the point I was making earlier, like, the criticism of the game- or not necessarily criticism, but like, you just wish- you're having such a good time, you wish there was more. And, you know, honestly, in many cases there just isn't. You've got the modes you got, there's some skins, they can have- it's kind of like you get some control as to like what strategies you want to use, but generally speaking, uh, depending on the game mode, some skins are just like by far and away better than the other, right? So after doing a few more, we're gonna get to night five, and then I'm gonna go to tournament mode and we're gonna see if we can't do a giant only strategy, which I think is going to be pretty challenging. But, so far, the AoE does really, really well on the big packs of zombies. What we're gonna have to worry about is there are zombies that, like, poison you. And those are always the worst. So I think that's the very last one, and voila. And we can afford another giant. So going into night four, we will immediately purchase a giant. Yeah, 1615. See, this is what I'm talking about. All right, so protect the mineral line, Griffin the Great. Griffin the Great, the giant. But imagine if there were like Cyclops, another style of... Who's who's this guy? This is a new one, isn't it? Why aren't you telling me there's a new zombie type? This looks new to me! Okay. Slow-moving range dead that throw poison pieces of their rotting bodies. Garrison poison units to cure. Oh my gosh. Already I have to fight, like... The most hated unit there is, for me anyway. Alright. I don't think they're gonna send the creepy crawlies in our- back in our mining operation, so we're gonna go out and fight them and just try to take out the- look at that, see? And then over time, Griffin, the mighty here, will lose... uh, health. Oh my gosh, everybody's getting poisoned! It's like, I wanna send in the- the healers, but that's not really part of the, you know, the whole giants only strategy. So I think even getting, look at that. This mighty giant, $1,500 is getting taken out by some poison lopping, like, they're throwing organs, they're throwing hearts, livers, pancreases. I'm sure there's a few pancreases flying around the battlefield right now. And I'm gonna lose a, a precious giant, man. And I'm not okay with it, alright. So let's see, are you guys doing okay back here, getting me some money? Yeah, I think we just... We're about to lose a giant, guys. I'm gonna try to purchase one before this battle's over, but I, I, I don't think... We're, we're getting back into their backfield right now. I, I'd say we clearly won night four. Now here's the thing. Do these guys, are they fully healed for the next battle? That's actually something I don't think I've ever known. Or, if you think about it, like, the last time we played this was a few months ago, so maybe I'll just forgot. Yes, I'll upgrade the miners' bags in their mining rate. And we almost have enough for a third one. No. They keep the health from the level before two. You should be able to, like, buy a medical camp or something, so, like, between rounds. That would be interesting mechanic, wouldn't it? 
So here's the question. The question of the day is for those of you who played Stick War Legacy. Oh my god, we've got pouncers. They're fast jumping dead. That will pounce when close. They'll jump over your frontline units too. They're fastest of all the deads? I don't think a giant only strategy works. Oh my god, attack! We're losing miners. Alright, we'll buy a third one because Griffin here... He's gonna fight the good fight. And we, we could summon more. Like, I've got four more Griffins available, but... It would just be cheeky. But what if there was a giant faction? You know, like... You could have a, a giant archer that's got like a ballista. Or a giant archer. But yeah, for those of you who've played Stick War Legacy, or for those of you who've just watched it a lot, what would you add? What would you do differently, or what would you improve upon, or implement into the game if you wanted to make it more interesting, more fun? Because I'm a big fan of this game, but I want more, you know what I mean? And like, honestly, when it comes to most games, I'm always thinking like, oh, I want more and more. Hey, there's my new giant. All right, so we'll buy two more mineral guys because it looks like we've been attacked back here. And we've got to continually buy more units to mine so we can buy more units that can fight. And yes, they call it a mine. All right. So everybody's out here, and the one giant that was really low hasn't died yet. Very happy with that. You you fought so bravely. Look at these guys with their little, like, vines around their pickaxes. All right, so now that we've passed night five... Ooh, we can get gold per second? Oh my gosh, I should have gotten that earlier. And now I want to go to tournament mode. Oh, this is perfect! Both teams start with a huge amount of gold. That's exactly what I want. Okay, upgrade the giants. So I'm uploading pretty much, or upgrading everything that has to do with... Miners... And defenses. And that's it. I don't need any of these units because that's not the challenge. Alright, so... I'm putting all of my money immediately into the Giants. We started with 10,000 gold. I've got two miners out there also harvesting. And just my... There we go. Okay, we do have a crown. And look at that. Oh my god. We just get plus 80 from that? Oh, he brought out a Giant too. Okay, so this seems like it might just be a Giant battle. Um, yeah, we're gonna send you over there. We're gonna meet them in the battlefield. Now, I could control my units, but... Yeah! But, like, I'm using an emulator so I can play on the PC. I still haven't hooked up my iPad or my, like, Android tablet. Um, I really need to because there's a lot of other- Oh my god! Yeah, you know what? Let's get another one out there. It's a war of attrition with the Giants. This is literally just like, what would happen in Stickwall Legacy? If there was just an insane amount of Giants. So if we can take his down at about the same time... Oh, now he's got some sword wrath out here. This isn't good. I don't I don't know if the giant challenge is gonna work. Actually, if the sword wrath giants should be able to kill sword wrath. Look at that. See? Like, I think that's kind of silly looking. It kind of breaks the whole atmosphere. This whole like basically who we're playing is like a girl who's like on her phone too much. It's really strange, honestly. Like, why not some like ancient god? Or king from a land far away. You know what I mean? Like, build the lore. Alright. So we've had, what, one or two giants fall so far. Oh my gosh. Yeah, needless to say, mixing in their units. You know what? I'm doing it, man. I'm getting Griffin out here. He's gonna come out here, and you guys are not gonna be happy about it, alright? Here's a lame spell. See what I'm talking about? Get off my screen, lady. I don't care. Oh, you've got giants, and I've got griffin, although they've got archers back here that are peppering my units. But needless to say, once, once big boy griffin's out here, things are looking good for the good guys. And, you know, I'm the good guys, okay? I, I'm the good guys. Everyone else is the bad guys. Let's get two more miners, just so we can keep the production of giants going. But griffin should be able to get all the way over there. And destroy the enemy. I just feel like, like, look at that. Oh, you got a giant. That's cute. I think I've got two. But when you look at the hit bar, one's about to die. And you know what? He'll be remembered in the Hall of Titans, where all giants go to die, I guess. Yeah, and that weird though, just like slinging a body around. <laughs> all right, now those archers are have fallen, and it looks like their statue is actually a giant. Well, 
You hear that, Mr. Anderson? That? This is getting deep, man. No, it's not. That is the sound of inevitability. Oh, I guess we could... Could buy another giant. I mean, you never know. What if all of a sudden they were all defeated and I need to go back and conquer? Huzzah! I could care less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So we're going to what? The final round against Wesley. Hello, my name is Wesley. And I like playing with my cards. Start with 14 miners and a ton of gold on the battlefield. This one's called a gold rush. Alright, I've got all my upgrades chosen. Basically upgraded the home base, the miners, and the giants. And we're going out to the final round. I can beat this game on insane mode. Okay. Wait, I should- I thought I had a crazy amount of gold. I guess there's a crazy amount of gold out there. Oh my god, I- I got a griffin? Oh shoot, he's already- He's already sending this dude out here to attack. Huh, whatever should I do? Yeah, giants only- I mean... I would've kept losing my miners and not been able to get enough. I had to use it. The only way to do a true giants only challenge is to use a special unit. There we go. You've got your cute little dude. Honestly, I'll, I'll probably kill him with this. I don't care how many units you got. You hear me, Wesley? Do you hear me, Wesley? I think he does. Oh, wow. There's a ton of gold. My god. Look, I like, look how many you have. I love this skin, though. It looks like these guys are, like, from the heart of Africa around, like, just this giant volcano, and they've created this awesome armor. I love... Like, look at the armor, man. It looks like they harnessed it straight off a volcano. Alright, get the archer. Where's my other giant? There he is. There's the big boy. Oh, this guy was trying to be cheeky and run past over here. My giant versus your giant. I need another giant out here. Mine's slowly pulling up. But yeah, see these giant snow-capped mountains? They kind of remind me in a loosely, loosely, like the the color of the or uh, the orange, the color orange of the sun here reminds me of like some like old Japanese artwork, you know, like feudal Japan samurai. You see where this game could go, man. Dun, 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 dun. Love the music. Music is fantastic. Gameplay mechanics are pretty solid. Let's get two giants out here. Get them on, you know, get those reinforcements are coming here presently, gentlemen. Because we need them. That is for sure. Okay. Well, I mean, cheeky breaky, seems you are my intellectual superior. No, Wesley, I'm not. I just summoned a Griffin the Great. That's really all I did. This used to say, coming soon. It used to not have anything. When you look at the giant now, you can see this interesting club. When you click on him, look at this. The default giant, having no skins of his own, now has three different weapon types. Before, it was always just the club. This is awesome. There was obviously Griffin the Great, but like, look at the tier four one. But here's where it gets crazy. These skins are absurdly expensive. I think 6,000 diamonds is like 45 US dollars. So to get the vampire, the top tier one, which has lifesteal, poison immunity, earthquake, it's like 45 bucks. There's a lot of really cool looking ones, but my favorite is the Savage skin. Because it looks like he's wearing a Triceratops head as a helmet with like emerald eyes and then a woolly mammoth skull on a club as his weapon. We're getting it and we're gonna try out the new Giants skins in Stick War Legacy. So what we're gonna wanna do is first go to a tournament mode. Oh, it looks like we're in a, a round of hard difficulty in a tournament. Hmm. Let's play the next round. A pile of rocks stands between you and the enemy. Hack them down to get the pass. All right, this is actually very good for me because what I'm gonna do is, well, like, first off, we're gonna upgrade the Giant. So now you can see he will get his top tier looking skins. I also want miners, and I'm thinking archers. And then we'll go economy. Basically, we'll give a crown to our statue here, and now it is time to go out here. All right, so one of the things I never really liked about tournament mode was how silly the people you're fighting are. Like, I don't know why I'm fighting an old granny. Like, grannies make the best cookies. They're the best cooks. Like, they're just sweet, sweet people. Why am I fighting a grandma? Why am I gonna release a giant who's wearing a dinosaur as a head? War. 
That's why. They say war never changes, but how many wars have people fought grandmothers? So, there you go. War does change. Alright, so we're getting really close to $1,500, and that's what it's gonna cost to get our first giant out on the battlefield. Now, look at this. This is another... Uh, update. Now, this is the beta branch that you can opt into on, I'm using, I'm playing on Android, so I was able to do it via the Google Play Store. Oh, look at this poor miner, he's, he's a little lost. He's like, you built too many of us and I ain't got any job. And here we go. Here's the giant. But yes, manpower is now out of 50, not out of 40. That's great, because now we can make more giants, and I'm very excited for that. But look at him, he's, he's got a triceratops skull helmet and a mammoth skull war hammer like it's obscene it's obtuse it's deliciously beautiful and i love it i'm so glad that there are giant skins i'm actually kind of curious as to why there weren't any in the past so we've got what three giants what are you making over here yeah look grandma's got a ball of yarn in like needles that's that's her sigil granny you're great, like, you, your sigil should have been a, a beautiful chocolate chip cookie, okay? But instead, I guess you're just, you sew things, right? Alright. Time to attack! Our forces greatly outnumber. Well, Gandalf, I want a third one. And actually, I, I have a third one, I mean a fourth one. So another thing that I think would be kind of cool if, like, you could have different classes of giants, like, I don't know, like, it's almost like the giants are pulling another, it's not a regular person. It's like a smaller giant, and they're just pulling them behind them, right? And it's like, I don't understand why. I would, I wish they had like, two giant hammers, or maybe a hammer and a shield. Or maybe if you gave a giant like, a bow and arrow, it'd be like a ballista. You know what I mean? And he, the giant with the ballista, oh, oh, they're attacking. I was like, what's that sound? That sounds funny. Yes! Come forward, you little miscreants. I will destroy you with my army of giants. That was literally the perfect map to start to. This poor miner's gonna be the first one to go. Oh, they do have a wizard, don't they? They've got a cave troll. No. I have dinosaur slaying giants. Oh. Someone, yep, there goes my miner. So, th <laughs> they took that down halfway, killed the miner, and then stopped attacking. This is the most giants I've ever purchased, I've ever had. Even when playing the uh, Zombies or Deads mode, I'm fairly certain. Alright, the enemy is about to break through. So, like, once it gets really low, I'm charging them. Oh, you've got a cute little giant! So this is what the giants used to look like. Now, when you leveled them up, they did get bigger, but visually, they didn't look any different. There wasn't an appreciable artistic difference to indicate their level other than their size. So now they're gonna rally behind there. <laughs> you idiots! It's time to die! Alright, watch their whole army crumble right here. Boom, boom, boom! We've also got the earthquake ability. Do the earthquake thingy! Oh, and they did the little Archidon fire ability, but I don't think we've lost anybody. Their giant's already destroyed. I'm sending my men into attack. We've got one that's about, what, at half health, but when you see the little red numbers ticking off in 15, 35, and seeing how it does, like, a very, very little to his overall health pool, one must think, wow, it's good to be a giant. We're huge! I think I just bought another one. There he is. Reinforcements. There you get to see him in all of his splendor. He looks like he's a little shorter than the rest of them. But yeah. So, uh... The new giant skin, guys. What we could do, I kind of want to show off the regular giants. Um, turn their skin off, because I want to see what it's like to have a tier 4 regular skin giant, and then... Well, this was very enjoyable. I think it's time for my nap soon. No! I've conquered your kingdom, Granny! You are now gonna be sent to the bakeries, where you must basically make cookies for my army. All right, so let's go back to the main menu. Let's go back to skins here. And I wanna click on the giant, and I wanna go back to classic, which is just the classic look, because I wanna see this new Warhammer one. So here we are, we're in the quarterfinals of the hard tournament. We're going to play the next round, and we gotta fight Team Star with a small amount of gold and two miners. All right, this one's gonna be a little trickier to show off giants, but here we go. Watch what happens to the giant. Upgrade level one. Now he's got a bone. Upgrade level two. Now he's got a war hammer. Upgrade level three, or I guess that gets in the zero, one, two, three, or is it one, two, three, four? Anyway, he's got like 
a glowing hammer with a skull on it. Pretty cool. And I think one of the other things we're gonna want is... Archidens this time, so we'll we'll be ready for battle. I basically went for economy Yo, let's do this good luck, bro. Thanks, man. Oh now is this an indication of like what we should be expecting on the battle if he worships the Spiritans? Because these these are like statues They could be like temples. I always thought that they could be temples, right? All right So I'm gonna pump out two Archidons because the goal here is to have at least a little bit of defense. I'm gonna go ahead and pump out one more miner, and then I think... Oh, what are you doing over there? He just selected it. This means that the enemy is controlling it. Controlling that unit specifically. I really want to get a giant out, but I'm only two-thirds of the way there. Oh, uh, we're two-thirds way there. And... There we go. All right, our first giant is in queue, and it looks like he's building relatively quickly, so we're gonna get to see the default skin tier 4 giant, which I love how there's a difference, just like this one, I think like if I knew better, I think bronze is like tier 1 armor, and that sword might be like tier 3 or tier 4. Let's get another giant. You can always tell that way. You can always tell that stuff. Alright, and so this is kind of cool, like, I think they did a cool job, but they just missed the overall theme of the game. Like, the fact that his spiritons look different is cool. I love it. But when they're using skateboards and biker helmets, it's like, why? Ah, there he is! There he is! The giant! Alright, we're gonna get two of these guys, and then we're gonna go for three in just a moment. There we go. I love this music. Oh, they're attacking! Attack! Giants to the front lines! Protect the miners! Oh my god, look at that. Instant death to the Sword Wrath. The Spiritans, however, with their shields, which are, remind you, are skateboards. Um, they're able to soak up a decent amount of damage and give these Archidens a decent amount to, like, kind of shoot at, right? So, yeah, let's go ahead and get another giant. I think, there we go. Number three. Giant number three is coming up. And number four is in the queue. Style for miles, bro. And then, like, you can't even close these dialogues, so they just, like, kind of ruin the atmosphere of the, the battle there, I think, as well. I think it could be done differently. I mean, I would have done it differently, but I'm, I'm glad it is in the game, as opposed to not being in the game at all. Style for miles, bro. And I, I gotta say that this one looks like we're going to win. Upgrading giants, even on the hard difficulty for these tournaments. These poor miscreants don't seem to have much of a chance. But, uh, what's their special ability? There we go. Achievement unlocked. What do we, what do we, first kill as a giant. Oh. Nice. I guess I never had that before. We never really focused on the Giants, so what, we're going to the semi-final rounds here? And we're gonna have to fight Willow, the emo princess. So let's go back to the skins here, and I wanna see... So, this one is like $45. 2000 I think was like 30? 20? 30 bucks? 20 bucks, maybe? I think I'm gonna get this one, this one's cheap. Um, and it looks like our Giants will be like, I am Groot on a tier 4 level. Plus they get a build speed increase and a build cost decrease. And all of the skins get the Earthquake ability, remind. So honestly, $200 for this is pretty good. But then obviously as they get older, like, Savage is the best for the Undeads. Although immunity to poison is really good for against the Undeads as well. So we're gonna go for the I Am Groot skin, and we're gonna go back into our tournament here. We're gonna continue, we're on the, the semi-final rounds of a hard tournament against Willow the Emo Princess. Team start with 14 miners and a ton of gold. Okay, this means giants. So remember at this upgrade screen, this is kind of where we get to preview what it looks like. So giant growth, 30% giant health. They also get bigger. So now he's got a little more twigs. I wish you, can you un-upgrade? You can. That would be nice. Tier two. Oh, did I, did I double click? That's weird, I didn't mean to. I swear this never happens. Oh God, I don't need, I don't need uh, miners, do I? And so like, Here's what, tier one, his shield is tier one, helmet. It's kind of cool how there's that difference, I do like that. We'll upgrade the Archidin to like, I don't know what to call it, tier zero, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. I'm gonna call it one, two, three, four. So he's at tier three, <laughs> I say with great pause. All right, so we've got plenty of miners, right? So let's get an archer out. Just to protect- oh yeah, we, we've got to fight over the middle grounds here. So actually what you're gonna want is lots of sword wrath, so... 
We kind of, we, we probably messed up, but we'll see. And we'll send our guys just into attack mode. I really want a spear to out early, but uh, I think, oh, we're about to get a bucket load of money. Let's get another miner. Hey, and our guy's just got a regular club. His has like the gold encrusted uh, swords, which means he's upgraded. Oh, that guy just took an arrow to the face. I love this music. It's so triumphant, man. Oh, my guy just got a headshot. Oh, he's aiming at a miner and I'm not. So that's, that's the issue. What I really want to do though, is get a giant out quick. Our archer, if our archer can target that guy and take him out, we've got a very good chance. There we go, we got a spiritin out. So we, we can save up, we can start saving up. And look at that, see the, uh, now instead of $1,500, this skin, the I am, as I'm gonna call it, the I am Groot skin, um, it allows us to then get him at, what, $150 less, which is pretty cool. And spiritin versus spiritin, they're blocking each other. A lot of their attacks are being negated in our archers shooting at their miner. But don't worry, we've got I am Groot, the giant slayer. I love it. All right, Grooty Groot. And we'll get another one now that we can afford a second one. We'll just send him out there. The Spearton just fell. The timing was perfect. He invested in a wizard. And all of the little summonable minions are pretty much just like the exact type of units that the giant specializes in destroying. So she just used a special ability, the archer in fire mode, basically when Leonidas is like, we will fight in the shade or our arrows will block out the sun and then we'll fight in the shade, right? There we go, two giants. That, Mr. Anderson, is the sound of inevitability, and I'm gonna get a third one. Yeah, like, look at the, look at the Spearton shield. I think it was a very, a big missed opportunity the way that they did the AI, uh, types in the tournament and making them real world as opposed to Inamorta themed. But I love these skins. Oh my god, that's so many archers. All right, if they got tons of archers, I'm gonna bring in some Spearton's here. I should have a third giant coming up, so reinforcements from now on are going to be spear tins, and honestly, whatever I think we need. <laughs> yeah, having the cost decrease is a very, very interesting strategic advantage, I think. Okay, we're about- there we go! Our first giant falls. Are there any new animations for them? It doesn't seem to be. But he's like, oh, it's like, it's like Game of Thrones, where they fall to their knees and they just kind of look out there and then they get an arrow in the eyeball. Hey, look at that AOE effect right there. Yeah, so this is, they went for giants too. This is the giant statue. Watch, there's gonna be a text blurb that pops up, which I won't be able to close. So I, I move it to the side so that I can actually see the health bar of what's going on. They definitely upgraded their miners, but I guess, I wonder, I wonder what that would be like. That's like the Joseph Stalin strategy. If you get a skin that decreases the cost of all your units, and then you got the perks where your guys would mine faster. Could you just simply outproduce? Here's a lame spell. That was just beyond late. So, as we conquer her and she gets all sad and lame, we're gonna go to the final round here. That actually gets me thinking what I think I wanna do here is I wanna. The vamp skin's cool and I did pay a lot for it, but. Build speed increase? We're gonna do that. Yeah, I've got I've got that for pretty much all of my units. I never bought this one. Hey, I've got the whole pack. I feel like I should get an accomplishment for that. So we, we're using the forest people here. And we're gonna go back to our tournament. And we're gonna play the final round and try to beat this. And we're gonna try to beat Z4CK. Both teams start with a huge amount of gold, Zach. Are you ready to fight my giants? Yeah, definitely upgrading the giants. And then, if we start with him, look at that, he has like a, whoa, that's pretty cool. We're gonna try to upgrade them all, but I do like how visually you can see plus one minions per level. Yeah, let's get more minions. All right, so we're doing the Joseph Stalin strategy right now. We'll get a giant, we'll get a giant, and then we'll probably switch to the other ones. Now, it's the Joseph Stalin strategy on a map where we get a ton of gold, so does that even make sense? Did they summon a giant? I feel like they must have summoned a giant. And I'm gonna send my guys on attack straight from the beginning. He did, but see, look at this. This is what a tier one giant looks like. We can tell based off his club. I also like how his are red. I wish mine, like, it just, hmm. That is easy to see the difference, right? So, giant versus giant, who dies faster? 
We're cheaper. Wait. Oh, he's user controlling his, so that's... We'll get four of those guys. Five... Well, five and five. And then go back to giants. And then we're out of gold, actually, so let's go ahead and... Boop, boop. Do we have miners? We do have a few miners. So, honestly, I, I think we're about to take this one. They just don't have any giant... Well, they've got one giant who's actually doing well. So, never mind. I take it back. But now we got Spiritans out there who are trying to fight, but they keep getting hit back by the Earthquakes. One of ours died, one of theirs died. The Wizards are out there just pumping out units left, right, center. But don't worry, my... I feel that we will be victorious. Yeah, Spiritans and Giants, that's just massive amounts of, like, health and being able to soak up enemy damage. And then the Archers are gonna come in here, the Archdons, rather. And they're gonna just start ripping up any any soft units like those wizards that they have. They do have Spiritans though. And they got another giant. So let's go ahead and drop that down and wait for the goal to get another giant, I think. Come on, archers. Yeah, we, we picked the skin that was almost rendered completely useless given the amount of gold you start with. All three giants have fallen. Hey, there's another one. We'll get another giant in here. But yeah, all of my units are cheaper than they no otherwise normally would be. Wizards 1,200 normally, Spiritans 500, Archerdons 300, the Sword Guy is 125, and I think Miners are default right now. Or maybe they're default- maybe they're 150 normally, but I always have the skin that makes them cheaper. Honestly, this looks like I'm losing this one. Pull back, gentlemen, pull back, pull back. We need some Spiritans and some more damage to be shot out, yeah. He's doing a really good job. My skins- oh my gosh, and this is the semi-final round. Can we turn it around? Alright, we gotta protect the archers. Oh, they got a little too close. Three archers just died to one giant. Honestly, this is not looking very good. Oh, my giant just went down and his giant still has two-thirds health, so... This would have been a good strategy. Fulminate, hee hee. Shout out to SE. I think that's the voice actor who's like, Fulminate! Who did the old Stick War 1 and 2, right? Well, that's sad. It is a sad day for my inner mortons as we get conquered. Actually, pull back. Yeah, that thing's gonna get taken down too quickly. We don't feel... Well, don't feel bad. I'm like a pro. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is see just how strong the best giant is. We've got tier 3 with the vampire skins versus the giants in the campaign. So the first thing we want to do is obviously build up our workers. We want to get as much gold as possible because I don't know if you're aware of this, but giants are expensive. $1,500 a pop. Now you can also get Griffin the Great and... You know what? Hold on. How expensive is a Griffin the Great? He's a thousand gems, which is about 10 bucks, I think. Somewhere around $10. So, oh, wow. They already have a giant. Okay, that's kind of terrifying. How did that happen? Hold on. We're gonna have to go ahead and do that. Yeah, yeah, you guys, 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 hurry, 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 get that money! Oh my god, there's a giant right there! Alright, everybody go back. Give me that money. And then boom. Okay. So, we're just gonna have to hold on. Our miners are just gonna have to go out there and, uh, defend as much as possible. Okay, he doesn't have another giant yet, so this is gonna hurt. Alright, and I think about now... We can go ahead and call our miners in. We'll- we'll get two more, because if you can see, there's two guys dead on the battlefield. Alright, giant! Defend us! Defend this land! So, let's see. One hit versus one hit. Now, remember, I'm not controlling him. He's also getting some splash damage on our statue, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get a second giant out here, because- Oh, look who it is! It's another freaking giant coming our way. Now, I loved in Stick War 2 how you could send your miners back to base, but not your soldiers. I always liked that, and I wish we could do that now. We, we can't really see the health, but let's see if we see some damage popping up. Okay, that giant- we do 125 right there, but that's because he wasn't facing us. I think we're doing the same amount of damage, but there's also these plus sixes, and I think that's due to the lifesteal. Yeah, I- I'm letting too many of our- Alright, I'm not seeing a third giant yet. I let too many of our miners kind of die right there, so we're gonna have to build that up. And once we clear this out... Alright, we can- we can send our guys to defend. There's a third giant coming. But look at this. The vamp- the lifesteal. They have lifesteal. That's the big kicker. I think they get about six damage 
You know what, let's go ahead and send our guys out so we can rebuild our mineral line here. Alright, let's watch the numbers. 62, 62, but plus 6. So every time they hit, so every 10 hits they get, they take back the health that is basically a giant doing the damage to them, right? Something like that. And this miner's just like, hey, I'm gonna join the fun. But it is keeping them in the fight. Plus, it's a two-for-one situation right here. So, I've gotta say that the lifesteal is pretty good. Oh, this miner's going way over there. <laughs> Go ahead and steal their gold, friend. Steal it. Okay. How many giants do we have? Oh, we lost one. We lost a brave giant, but we've got two. One's almost dead, and we've got a third one on the way. 25 damage and that miner goes down. You know, it's funny, I'm not very well aware of the hit points of all the units. If you look on the wiki, there's a wiki, but it's not very good because it it combines Stick War 1, Stick War 2, Stick War Legacy. There's all of them, you know? Yeah, but that lifesteal of plus six, I think is pretty good. I'd be curious to see if the vampire Spiritans also have lifesteal at that same number of plus six. Does every unit that has it get plus six? All right, so at this point, I think it's time to go ahead and guard up. Well, I don't think, I don't need those miners. I'd rather have a third giant, fourth giant. All right, so we got two giants on the way, two are here, and then the third one's coming out right now. Let's go ahead and go out and fight, so his splash damage, the giants have splash damage. I never understood why they're carrying a body, because when they're all black-bodied sticks, it looks like their arm is like an octopus tentacle of some sort, man. Some crazy stuff going on here. Like Cthulhu, Lovecraftian type monsters, you know what I'm saying? Of course you don't. Of course you do. Cthulhu would be cool. Imagine a big squid face on this statue here. Alright, we're going forth. But I think it's safe to say that one giant to one giant. Now remember, ours are tier 3, so they're a little bit bigger. Or is it tier 3 or tier 4? Anyway, this statue's gonna fall real quick. Doing 100 damage, and each time we do it, they get plus 10 on a statue. Interesting. The key is looking at the numbers. Oh my god, three giants. Alright, so this is where it's gonna really be seen how good or how bad the vampire giants are. But I think we also have more health. So, you know, gotta definitely account for that. So basically, I'm gonna have to go through this level here and... Actually, hold on. I'm gonna set an early rush. Because look at this, they've got a healer. If I can kill that healer real quick, let's go ahead and defend. All right, now that you're unified, we're gonna send out. If I can snipe this magic kill, all right, so this is, which one are these? The healers, man, I'm forgetting, I'm just so excited. All right, kill, yes, okay. Now pull back and defend. So basically what I tried to do was just to snipe. Ooh, that hurt. I'm gonna keep them off balance. That's gonna be my goal here. Resource denial because I feel like I'm just gonna be fighting a bunch of wizards, both the healing versions and the ones that summon. So if I can do this and summon, oh look, it's healing himself. Now let's get some of these miners before they decide to retreat. Oh my God, they're not retreating. This is brilliant. What are you, do what are you guys doing? All right, now we don't want to deal with the statue because it's going to summon just like a giant army. And I know I'm saving up money. Now we got enough for a giant. I'm going to get that giant out here. I think we killed one, two, three, four, five miners. Woo! They've only got three now. The battles of war. Now, I also have some good news as far as skins in units. So I'm thinking what we do is giants and a bunch of archidens here. But look at this. Okay, so let's look at the map. We've got this kind of like, this reminds me of like Arizona, for example. You know, these giant, beautiful, not necessarily mountains, but like elevated plateaus, steeps. Is that what they're called, steeps? Well, they look steep to me. I don't, I don't know if that's their name. Oh look, they got a wizard. But I feel like we messed up their build order. So I think what we should do is not let them, we're gonna go ahead and try to snipe this wizard with some arrow fire, preferably. My army might move a little bit slower with the giant. No, he'll be fine. But, so we've got a new map. We got the wizard statue. <laughs> uh, 
Snipe the wizard! Snipe the wizard! Yes! I love it. All right, there was just the sound effect, so I feel like... Oh, yeah, one of the healers, man. Hold on. Merricks! Of course they're Merricks. So they've got some Merricks out there, but I've got a pretty sizable armor. Basically, I've noticed that if you pressure the enemy real early, depending on their build, like, if they're not gonna have Sword Wrath, you, you just go in for the rush, man. It's... 60% of the time it works every time, which is decent statistics. Now, if you look at the skins that I'm using right now, all of mine are leaf. But if you notice, look at these skins. I have all of them except for the Vampire Sword Wrath. I still gotta buy him. Or I can try to get him via chests. Ah, here we go, another Merrick. Look at this. So, the wizard had one summonable before he got sniped that was forced to retreat. So their army consists of one fighter and two healers. Not the best right now, but remember, these bonus missions are supposed to be very, very difficult. <laughs> and, um... They're gonna get more difficult as we progress. We're only on the first of six. The sixth of which has the secret mission. Now... I am going to be playing this on Baron Von Tactics. We're going to look to beat all six of these bonus missions. So if you guys want to see more of this, let me know by pulling the trigger on the like button, leave it in a comment, and then go check out Baron Von Tactics. But as far as Baron Von Games is concerned, like, we'll play more if you guys want to see more, because I love this game a lot. We're going to attack. They're not going to be able to do much. They've got one wizard, two merics, and a few little summonables, and I've got... A veritable army of camouflaged wood elf type guys, you know, with the, with all the green stuff. Yeah, <laughs> get that wizard before he retreats. Oh, you love to see it. Unless you're the bad guys, in which case you do not. But I'm expecting our giant to tank most of their defensive arrow. But once we beat this, the enemy's called in reinforcements. How many wizards? You can hear them summoning. They're not going to get out here in time. Wizards are very, very slow. So the archers are gonna finish off right here. Ha ha ha! And our giant slaps your soldiers just to say, Hey! Ooh! So from beating this mission, we get the summonable Merrick. Which, let's go check the shop real quick because that's 250. So the gems, that would be about what? It'd be about three bucks, I think. That's pretty cool. That's just in the bonus levels. All right, so we beat number one. That's awesome. Now, do we want to check out number two real quick? What is number two? United Savage Tribes of Inamorta. A tribe of heathen outcasts have banded together and vowed to reclaim Inamorta. They call themselves the United Savage Tribes of Inamorta. <laughs> Say that 12 times fast right now. They're known to equip themselves with the skins and skulls of their conquered enemies. Oh, so they probably have... All right. Ooh, they have the savage skins. Interesting. We probably should have switched up our skins. You know what? We are going to do that. We're going to quit and let's go to the shop and go to the skin. So if we're going to be fighting, that's what they're going to look like, the savage. Now, these guys have stun reduction and bonus damage to deaths, but that's about it. Then I'm going to use... I'm going to use the ice nation, I think. Now, it said stun reduction, so I don't think we'd want to use wizards who have that ability. All right, Ice Nation is ready to face the... All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two early Sword Wrath and I'm gonna send them over to attack. Oh, they sent on a Spearton. Okay, so my early idea... Whoa, one guy's coming? Or are they both coming? Let's get an Archer and defend. That's interesting. Oh, so they're building up an army. This is cool. This is an interesting scenario. So what I think we're gonna wanna do is more Archers to take out the incoming Warriors. A little bit of Frost damage to freeze them up. And I think, honestly, I think choosing... Oh, here we go. We're in for it now. This is going to be a little bit tricky due to the Spearton. So let's get the guy behind him. Now, I'm playing on an emulator. Sir, why did... Yeah, all right, yeah, we're, we're building up our defenses, though. We've got a Spearton out here, and we've got some archers. So they're going to be attacking. I guess they sent all of their forces. So I think once this Archidon's done, due to the fact that we've got an extra Spearton to soak up some of their arrow fire, I think we should go attack. Try to hit some of their mineral, uh, harvesters. It's almost like we're playing StarCraft, right? Mineral harvesters. They're miners who are mining gold. And if we can do some of that... Oh, they're gonna retreat? All right, well, we don't want to deal with... Ooh! We don't want to deal with the retreating force. We want to deal... Because we can't attack them. That's four archers that we just can't do anything against. Now they come back out, we go and attack again. And try to just keep them off the resources as long as is possible. 
That's my idea. A little bit of kind of like micro. But you can see that all of our sword wrath just got taken out. All right, retreat. Well, all but this guy, who's relatively weak. And where's the army? There it is. Let's go send our boys out once again. They've only got three archers and one guy. I love this, man. Like, the skins are great. So it's fun to fight, you know, units that are themed to the skins that are in the game, right? It, it feels like this is what I'm talking about. I'm so glad to see this kind of an update coming to Stick War Legacy. Now, if you want to know how to play it, you're like, hey, how come I don't see it? You need to have... I. From my understanding, this is how I'm playing it. I have Android, and I've signed up for the beta, which you can do on the App Store. All right, let's go again. They've got one spear tin, three sword, uh, two archers, and a couple miners. Let's get them, boys. The Ice Nation is coming to conquer you. I would like a giant because that would help me feel confident in being able to deal with the counterattack. Look at this guy's like, hey, wait, I want to join. Oh, okay. And once the giant's here, we'll press the initiative. We'll press. The attack, my god, that's a lot. That is a lot of sword wrath. They come out here, they fight my shield line of gloriously armed spiritons. We shall retreat due to their archers. And there we go. First giant is going to be on the way momentarily. Ice Nation versus the Savage Alliance. Who will be victorious? Well, I'm putting my money on me. So they've got five miners out there, huh? Now that I'm building a wizard, we're gonna have to commit to this. So I think what we might want to do is just follow up with a bevy, a bevy here, a spamming of sword wrath. They're gonna, they're the quickest units, so I feel like they're the best reinforcement units. They, they get across the battlefield better. They'll run in front of your archers and your wizards and stuff like that. So they'll distract the enemy at the very least. But look at this, man. I'm feeling confident in our chances of victory. All right, it's time to commit to this attack. We've got 10 sword wrath on the way as reinforcements. They do have a wizard. So your wizard, your savage wizard, who looks like they're wearing cheetah skin, right? Like cheetah, tiger, maybe a little bit of leopard in there. So their archers come out, but oh, don't, don't target my archers, target my giant. He's here to, to soak up the damage, guys. Boom! And deal it out. Look at that. 100 damage. Warning, the enemy's called in reinforcements. It's a little bit too late, friends. For I have achieved a glorious victory. This is awesome. So these bonus levels reward you with skins. Now, I've already bought mine, but if you're new to the game, that's pretty cool. Now it's time, guys. Look at this. We've beaten one and two. It is time to beat, oh gosh, the final boss, or at least attempt to. Deal with the dead. Wait a minute. Is this a tie-in to the Endless Deads? mode the tribe referred to as the vampiric soul stealers have traded their technologies with the marokai also known as the dark lord of the dead in exchange he's enchanted their weapons and armor with a chaotic curse which drains the life force life force of their victims so oh they've got vampire skins uh oh all right we're gonna do the usual pump out two sword wrath here and we're gonna send them off to attack right off the bat once they're unified here we don't want them going in individually we want them going in together timing was pretty good there oh they got a marokai and a wizard uh i'm i'm kind of nervous kill him yes oh i was sending my guys back to try to retreat we're gonna need some archers to deal with this kind of stuff to deal with multiple enemies. So we, we killed the Marokai right off the bat, similarly to what we did to the Merrick in the first level. I'm very happy about that. But these wizards are very tough, especially if multiple units uh, are given time to build up. If there's more than one wizard, like two plus wizards, it, it can get a little bit tricky. So we can't just let them build up critical mass. But with a wizard and an archer, that's tough stuff to deal with. Let's get one more. And since we changed to the Ice Nation skin, as I like to call them, the Frost skin. Oh, they've got a Spear Tin. Okay. They're doing a balanced army, part of your complete breakfast. And we don't have a lot in the ways of an army. We'll get a Spear Tin out here. We weren't able to get any of their miners. Let's see. You know what? Our Archer didn't able to... Eh, it worked a little bit. All right. We could always try that again. I want to, like, weaken up their army. I mean, this is the sixth level, right? We're not doing any challenges. The challenge here is just to beat the game. Or, so, as far as not using special abilities, I have no qualms with it. Let's get our own wizards, maybe. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Zombies are on the battlefield. They're just pumping out. I don't know where they came from, but we're dealing with them pretty well. Maybe this is the time to use the savage skin. Now, we forced them to retreat, so they're not 
earning money at this time. I'm okay with that. So my thought is if they're calling in lots of zombies, oh man, you know once we defeat this statue, we're gonna have to deal with the end boss. We will need a sizable army to do this. All right, we're going on another skirmish here to harass their mineral line. We, we got to turn around before our wizard is able to get hit by any incoming arrows. That's the goal. We, we got to protect the wizards. Oh, okay. Now, we, we've seen these zombies from the Endless Deads. Are these the ones that throw? Oh, God. And they've got lots of vampires. So the vampire nation is the boss level? I think that might be what we're going to be encountering is all of the skins. Okay, we're, we're able to hit them with arrow fire. Look at these guys blocking. They're like, they see arrows and they're like, Testudo formation! Gentlemen, knock arrows and hit the zombies. Ooh, Frost is really good at slowing them down. I'm, I'm okay with this selection. Are they... Please don't call in a giant. I mean, we know the boss. We've seen it. We've seen him teased before. We're gonna have a big army. I'm thinking maybe another wizard. All right, we're gonna send out another skirmish. I don't want them to have a, a, a standing army. There we go. Kill, kill that wizard. Brilliant. All right, pull back, pull back. Gentlemen, pull back. Wizards, that means you too. Yeah, see, you don't want to get hit with those arrows, buddies. Because we know when we start threatening their statue, they're going to come with their final assault, the final wave. And it doesn't matter what's here. It's going to be the same amount. So the strategy is to eliminate as much of this as possible and eliminate their gold capacity. So all we have to do is deal with the final army. Now I'm gonna save up a little bit of gold and skirmish for a while to hopefully allow me to, you know, get the units we need. You know what, we got a Merrick. Let's go ahead and put two Merricks out on the battlefield. We earned one and I'm gonna spend one because why not? Take out that wizard, gentlemen. Brilliant. You know what, screw it. We're committing to this attack. We took a, a couple extra arrows than we probably needed to. Where's our Merricks? Oh, of course, I didn't wait for them. So, I spawn in six dollars of special units. Guys, this is it! This is it! You know what's coming, right? Oh my goodness! The enemy reinforcements are the Kai Giant Rider. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pull back! I don't want to fight him. I don't want to destroy the statue and win that way. Oh god, my Merricks are gonna die. <laughs> fight! Whoa, 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 whoa. He just summoned zombies. The Kai, uh, the Kai Giant Rider just summoned zombies. So we've got two Merricks out here. I can't even see the giant's health. There it is. Okay, we've got our first hit on him. Look at that, and he's spawning the dead. It, it reminds me of Game of Thrones when the Night King just like raises his hands and all the zombies come out. Now this is on normal mode. We have defeated him. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my god, that's my logo! That's the Baron logo on the shield! And we have up to 255 <laughs> units to make. Uh, this is gonna be incredible. Should I try to make 100? Let's make 100 real quick. <laughs> oh my god, why do I have to watch out for this? The message said I am being warned. Alright, that's 100 men that's gonna be popping out. I'll, I'll let you know when- You know what, let's just send them all in. Cause this should be more than enough to beat the enemy forces. We have to destroy- Oh my god, they have samurai! Look at that! That's the rising sun of the Japanese Empire, and they've got, like, samurai-looking hats. He's hiding behind the statue. He doesn't want us to see what sort of trickery the enemy has in mind. Oh my god, yeah! I think we're fighting the samurai faction in Stick War Legacy modded. <laughs> Which, if it's not clear to you yet, this is a modded version of Stick War Legacy. It's not official by any stretch of the imagination. And look at this. We've unlocked... The Archidin, the blue one. So let's go ahead and look at that. I love how the statue is like my logo. <laughs> this is cool. And we have no gems really, so we can't really afford too many uh, special power-ups, but honestly we shouldn't. We're almost to the samurai map. This is normally the ambush map. Yeah, ambush, your army's been attacked by natives to this land. Reinforcements will arrive at sunset. Hang on until then. Okay, well, well my thought is, oh gosh, okay. Well, they're attacking with three samurai tribal spiritons it looks like and I've got a few clubmen out there and I've got 420 gold but not that I don't need to spend it at all so this should be able to defeat the enemy forces and, and I should be able to just acquire insane amounts of archers right you are building up a stockpile of gold <laughs> remember to change some units I'm gonna invest my gold into stocks, stocks. and dividends because my units since we we have the Baron banner they just want to fight for me for free it seems so how awesome is that oh here comes the enemy army oh man our arrows are literally blotting out the sun right now not literally but our sand dune is 
So this is what happens when you mod Stick War Legacy. It's fun because this is actually, I think, the second game I've ever modded. Like, we've modded Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Oh man, look at this army. We gotta have 40 men, right? So it looks like my lines can go up to 10 instead of just 5, which is what regular uh, Stick War, which is, by the way, optimized for stability. <laughs> it's not played on an emulator like this one is. But this is an impressive army. Can these archers defend? I mean, they, they should definitely be able to. Oh look, you're sending in a few soldiers. Man, oh, that'd be really, that's really scary. I wonder what's the max amount of gold we can get. Cause I actually have some miners out there doing their due diligence, doing their jobs, fighting for the blue army. Oh look, here's a, here's a big army. Yeah, so it's interesting. The shields and the spears. Oh, we should be cheering right now, right? Cause isn't the sun down? You, you can barely see it between those two sand dunes. So maybe we'll have to fend off one final attack. No, and look at that. We have achieved a glorious victory and more purple gems. So how do we want to upgrade our soldiers? I, I think it's clear that an archer and quiver having it fully upgraded so we do more damage is necessary. And I think since we don't have to worry about gold, we should definitely get some sword wrath helmets. So they have increased health and foot speed. Man, it's been so long since I've played the introduction campaign. Here it is. Oh my gosh, samurai. The mighty samurai with their fierce katanas are true masters of warfare. Destroy the samurai statue. Oh wow, they definitely have a samurai statue over there. Whoa, so I think by making my guys free, the enemy has free soldiers as well, and they're just gonna have unlimited samurai. Uh, okay, so those are the samurai sword wrath. We have some with spears, some with swords. We've got the archers here. Oh my god, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a big army on their part. I'm gonna make 50 archers. And then I'm gonna get like maybe 20 sword wrath. Oh my god, look at how many reinforcements that is. Oh my god. The Imperial Japanese army, this, the samurai here. Look at that. That is terrifying. I think we're gonna need more men, but it's taking my men a little bit too long to uh, build up here. All right, I hope our arrows destroy them because they've got archers. Okay, we, oh, this is like the last samurai right now where like they, they run in against the Gatling gun and you know, Tommy, Tommy boy cruises there. Okay. Oh my God, that's a samurai giant. Uh, samurai giants are insane. Okay, but we have so many archers, we're cutting them down. Okay, wow. Now, is, are they just gonna keep sending endless waves against me? It sure seems like it. I kind of feel like Sparta, you know, in uh, when Persia, the, the Persian Empire invaded. A thousand nations of the Persian Empire descends on you. That's that's kind of how it feels right now. But luckily for us, we, we've defended against the first wave. Okay, so this is my army. This is all we can send in at least for a few more minutes. We need to endure the onslaught of the enemy samurai. Oh my gosh, my poor swordsman. We're definitely gonna need to unlock the uh, spiritons here to fight off their samurai, because there's a few spiritons in the front soaking up those arrows. But yeah, so here we go, here's the question. We decided to go with some samurai this first time around, but I'm kind of curious, what units would you like to see in uh, Stick War Legacy mods? Like, we could do like elves, dwarves, we could do like medieval knights. There's all kinds of stuff. The Roman Empire, Persia, Sparta. I mean, I feel like there's a lot that we could do. And it's kind of just like, this is a test just to see how fun it is. And honestly, this is pretty fun. So let's see, how are we doing? Jeez, they just get unlimited giants, don't they? Look at this. And we have to end up killing the samurai statue, which looks glorious, by the way. Very, very well made, I think. Okay, we're down to 33 men. We're gonna get in some reinforcement uh, melee troops, which those are the ones that soak up most of the enemy arrow fire, although their archers are, <laughs> albeit they're small in number, they get a few free shots by using their giants as uh, meat shields. Quite literal meat shields. But I, I just love the skin for the samurai. Look at that, they've got the little flag on their back which I think is so cool. Oh, oh, we got that giant right before his attack animation struck, which was lucky for us. Look at that, 17, 17, 17 damage. Oh, wow. Oh, he got an attack off and there's more. Gentlemen, we must hold the line against this onslaught. Oh yeah, okay, so we're gonna need to turn the tides here. It's time for the reinforcements. We're gonna go up to an army of 100. 
So just a lot of clicking here. And voila, 100 men. So yeah, we could almost put 300 actual Spartans in. <laughs> Which I think is amazing. Okay. And once these reinforcements start coming in, archers, they, they take a while, but my gosh, do they dish out the pain train on these enemies. Oh, look at that. Arrows to the head and with sticky arrows, like arrows sticking in more. It is really, really cool to see them like on the ground. Obviously, these skins are not official. <laughs> Gentlemen, we must counterattack. It is time to destroy the samurai statue. I'm kind of curious to see if this actually plays out in um, the tournaments. If there was Stick War Legacy multiplayer and you saw some of these skins, you'd be like, bro, these guys are hacking. But from what I'm aware, you can't really just like mod the game and then continue. You, you wipe all your progress. So I didn't want to do that because I, I have put a lot of money in Stick War Legacy and I'm going to put a lot more in. Come on, guys. We must destroy the samurai statue, even though they have these genetically enhanced monstrosities known as giants. I literally have a machine gun of arrows. Oh yeah, look at look at how many arrows are stuck into the base of that statue, but it is tumultuously done. I don't even know what that means, but we did it. The samurai have been forced to regroup with sushi and sake. I doubt this is the last you will see them. I hope not, because they look amazing. Unfortunately, my men aren't modded. And we need to mod them. Oh, by the way, this is an ad for TikTok. I actually have a TikTok. Link is in the video description. I've been putting up some funny stuff. Go check it out. Do you want the Infinity Fan back? I might actually end up buying this for a second time. I'm a big supporter of this game. I love it. Sword Wrath damage? No, we need to increase our health. Because we don't even have the Spiritons yet. So we've beaten the Samurai level where we fought their statue. I think now... It's just the regular, yeah, that's just a regular old Spiritan, but it seems like their nation has been overrun by the Samurai. I don't know what kind of Daimyo or what do they call the leader? Shogun, yeah. The Shogun and the Daimyo have, must have some kind of warlord. Oh man, they're, they're kicking my butt. This is a problem. We, we probably should have called in infantry first because actually we're going to restart this. I don't think we can repel firepower of that magnitude without some melee shields in the front. So we get these Trumpian looking haircuts with some gems in them. All right, and that should hold the line for the archers to do the damage. It is a very impressive army. But the samurai are sending in their spirit and warriors. Attack! <laughs> See how the, the spears are like black and white? First time modding this game? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. All right, we need more. Do I have any of these? Oh my gosh, wait, can I buy them mid-game? Yes, I would like to buy an arrow barrage, please. Arrow barrage! We need to buy a little bit of time here. The Spiritons are too powerful. Oh god. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to use Mass Sword Wrath because the problem is their units are free too. Is this third time's the charm? This just goes to show you how powerful the Samurai are. And I used up my... I can only afford like one more on the current gems I have. You know what? Let's just meet them in the field. Maybe maybe we do our swords versus their samurai. All right. I've got a mix. It goes sword wrath, then a few archidens, then back to sword wrath. And I think that might help us out. All right, everybody pull back. We'll lure them out. Barrage! And then hopefully our archidens start firing. Excuse me, hopefully our archidens start firing. I, I don't know. <laughs> I might not be able to defeat this. We'll see. I mean, I have a ton of Sword Wrath out there, so actually, I, I think my chances are better, especially if I start building up a lot more archers. And you can see them piling up in the back near my modded statue there. Tis a glorious thing. A glorious thing indeed. Now, as long as they don't get any giants. We saw them in the last map. The samurai getting samurai giants. <laughs> yeah, we, we've got this one. We should be able to win. Gentlemen, keep fighting. Keep dying if necessary. We must defeat. The evil samurai. They're over there with their non-samurai statue doing samurai things against us. We must defeat them. Look at that. Look at all those sword rats just descending on that statue. One, 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 one. <laughs> but when there's a thousand guys, well, not literally, doing one damage. Oh my god, look at that army. Oh, thank god we destroyed it. That army would have crushed me and counterattacked. I would not have been able to stop it. Yes, the Spiritan. Yes, we'll upgrade our damage on the Spiritan. So we're on our way to fight the Magikill, but the Sword Wrath are trying to regain their land. So guess we'll just have to see what the new Spiritans are able to do. Oh my God, those white blocks are pretty funny. 
<laughs> this guy has to win. <laughs> Baron, the mods, man. The mods are not... <laughs> this is incredible. I, I actually am very enjoying. This is like, are you sure you know what you're doing? I'm like, no, not not really. We're, this is the first time, you know? You, you gotta give me a break. I mean, look at my guys. My guys look great. And they're blue. And different. And beautiful. So if this is all Sword Earth, I'm pretty sure this was the level we uh, tried out on um, Baron Von Tactics. There's a special unit and he's the Golden Spearton. I'm pretty sure one Golden Spearton can defeat all these guys. But I have a video on it, so make sure to go check it out on Baron Tactics. Make sure to subscribe there because we're actually doing more Stick War Legacy modded content as well as regular Stick War content, tournaments, challenges, all the new missions. Oh my God, I love the new missions. They're great. So we got all that, man. All that in a bag of, bag of gold. I want a bag of gold. All right, I'm just gonna sit here. You know what? I don't need the gold, so that's why I'm gonna make more guys with gold. Oh, so here's here's the bet. Do you guys think that any one of these sword wrath is actually gonna make it to the front line? I'm thinking one or two of them might, but we'll just have to see. I can't wait till Stick War Legacy 2 is out, if it does come out, because I wanna fight the armies of chaos. And like with Stick Empires, you had multiplayer. Right, so are we waiting for the sun to go down? Oh, here they go. They're charging in with their wizard leader. Charge! All right, front line's down, second line's down, third line, oh, one, okay. A few of them did get their hit animations in, but we have fought the samurai army, the glorious samurai army that they are, and we have proven to be victorious. I think it's time to give ourselves a little bit better shields. So we actually look like proper hoplites here. And we're gonna go on and we're gonna see what it's like to fight the magic hill. Because you know what? All samurai must get to this point in their existence where it is time. All right, we'll get three spiritons and five archers as our first batch of troops. This is interesting. What are they doing? They don't have any men yet. Don't, aren't your men free? Maybe they're not. <laughs> The idea behind giving my units free and their units free was so that there's epic battles that happen. Kind of make it like a battle simulator in a way. Doot, 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 doot. Oh wow, okay, yeah. They're pumping out wizards and even in even the little skelly boys here have like some samurai armor on them. All right, I'm just gonna make an army of hoplites here and we're gonna charge in. Cause our archers should be able to easily whittle down most of the Skelly boys here, although there is an endless supply of magic ill coming. Unlocked! Look at that. I built I built a proper phalanx! Phalanx versus samurai. Who will win? Well, you've seen it here first. Looks like the phalanx. Man, look at how many wizards there are, and they're just more and more coming. Alright, we need to start the counterattack or we're gonna be overwhelmed. I need to start destroying some of these wizards. They're, they're pumping out so many soldiers. It is infinite. I'm kind of curious what'll happen when I have a, uh, free wizards. That'll be interesting. All right, so we're just queuing up the soldiers that we need to fight the enemy. Gentlemen, prepare for an onslaught. There will be so much magic flying around the battlefield. There will be so many samurais and little skelly boys. We have over 100 men on the on the battlefield and queued up right now. Wow, wizards are a really, really good, uh, really, really good unit in uh, free 99 mode. Because <laughs> they just keep pumping out more men. You know what we need. You know what we need. I know you know what we need. We need one of these. We're going to use that to turn the tide of battle here. Because these are going to kill one or two of those wizards. Oh wow, they actually beat my front lines. Alright, how many of these wizards are we going to take down? Hopefully a lot. I, I think a few of them fell. But we don't have the gems to get any more. Come on guys, just- there we go. Yeah, it's like every- it, this is like fighting Mother Russia in World War II. For Mother Russia! You know what we could do is pull back a little bit? I don't know if that was a good idea actually. I don't think that's good. Alright. We might want to start getting on some sword wrath, maybe? As a follow-up? No, I think we may have the critical mass here to push through. But we are going to be pumping, yeah, so, uh, oh, actually there's a big group of, like, 
looks like five wizards down by that bottom gold node. Most of them have now taken arrows to the faces. And they wish to fight no more because they're dead. And they can't. They simply can't. Alright, here we go. This is our time. Five damage from arrows, but the spear tints are doing 22 per hit, if you can see that. And that, my friends... Oh god, look at that. Oh, is that a giant? No, it's just a wizard. Look at all those miners bravely charging in front of all of those arrows. These guys are crazy. Well, I actually have a new technology and it's called being a freaking boss. Oh, this is gonna be interesting, isn't it? So let's send out a couple giants. And by a couple, I actually mean, oh, I don't know, a nice healthy group of five to six supported by a wizard and some golden spiritons. And by, you know, a few archers as well, but look at this. So basically the golden legion here They've got customized helmets to look very, very cool, if I don't mind saying myself. And instead of carrying a giant around, it's like, why are giants who are now civilized and part of the tribes, or rather part of the Order Empire? Oh my god, this is going to be absolutely nuts, isn't it? I think we need an early rush. This looks like a sizable contingent to go out. And by having instantaneous speed here, the Archidons are already firing. They might even pick off one of the Giants before they even make it to the front lines to fight the Golden Legion's Giants. Now, one of the things we need to do is make sure that they're fully upgraded. I believe these are Tier 3 Giants. Because somehow what we need to do is have the Giants one-on-one -on -one each other. Because you know what's going to happen. The final boss is going to come out once we lay enough of this statue down. Warning, the enemy is called in reinforcements. So we'll pull back a little bit. You guys are supposed to pull back a little bit. Ahem. Golden Legion, heed my call. Uh, giants, they're creatures uh, that kind of listen to themselves and themselves only. And here it is, the final boss. There he is, and he's got the golden equipment himself. Oh my God. He, he has our stuff. Now, one of the things I would love is like, wouldn't it be cool if you could like give, get all of your guys to surrender? Because essentially what we need is one giant to fight. Hey, big guy, what's up? You're facing the wrong way. And now they're, <laughs> they're using the body. See, this is mods for you. So even still, the final boss is just absolutely giant. We're doing 120 damage to him in one fell swoop. This is going to be bad. This poor giant doesn't really know what is waiting for him. But 60, 60, 60, 225 damage each. Dang, and he's doing that AOE. But ultimately, even the final boss means nothing when you have an overpowered mod. And then our Golden Spirit is like, hey man, I'm here. And he's like, I'm gonna eat you. Oh yeah, I forgot. I've forgotten. It's been so long that I've forgotten about the tapping that is required to win the game. And there you have it. The enemy giant is dead. The Golden Spiritan, who looks awfully similar to his Golden Legion brethren, are now here. But we get the victorious trumpeteers, and we have achieved straight up victory. So we can go back to the main menu here. And one of the other things I want to see is this should have unlocked the final couple challenge levels, because one of these has the Kai Rider. Okay, so first we have to battle the Woodland Tribes. We've unlocked max full economy. Okay, so they're what? Just bringing in tons and tons of woodland? How many giants is that? Two or three? That is three. Okay, we're going to send three golden giants. The issue here is in my modding endeavor, basically what we did was... Uh, oh, we need to send them to go out and attack, although to protect my miners, even though we don't necessarily need the gold. But that's one of the things that I want to do next in this mod is like make it so it's actual units and you have to play the game normally. It's not just free for you and free for the enemy to put in because at the moment it is a little bit crazy. But that's the question I have for you guys is what mods would you like to see next in Stick War Legacy? Now I've done a number so far. I think we've had the Samurai Faction, which we showed off a while ago and that video's, I don't know, eking its way closer to a million views. But one of the things about this mod is, as you can see, we've got an absolute conga line of giants. So in order to beat that, oh my god, it's it's absolutely kind of crazy. And my statue just got destroyed because the battle was happening on our doorstep. Is it mission number five? Borderland flame fe feeders. Well, let's see. I'm going to send out a legion of golden spiritons. 
an entire legion of my best troops. Supported by some golden archidens. And what we want to do here is fight the lava tribes. Now, they are giants, so they're going to be a little bit difficult. But needless to say, the golden legion, its true force is the golden spearsons. They are really the main backbone of the army. They're supported by the archers, and the giants are cool and all, but this is just to show you the sheer power. Now, it's been modded so that instead of, like, five units wide, it's significantly more than that. I think it's, like, 10, 15, somewhere up there. Look at these giants just getting whittled away. And even the Golden Spiritons hitting this statue. We'll get some wizard support here. Not that we need it, because voila, it is the sweet, sweet taste of victory. But I believe here it is. How do we deal with the Kai Rider? So now we have to fight the Vampiric Soul Stealers, as well as the Marrow Kai, the Dark Lord of the Dead, and his champion. So what's the enemy gonna bring forth to fight me? Nothing's come out yet. Okay, we've got some giants. And some Marrow Kai on foot. Whoa, dang, I forgot about the Reapers. Look at them bringing my archers up to get s just absolutely decimated. All right, Golden Legion hold the line until the reinforcing giants arrive. Oh! Oh, there he is! There's the Kai Rider! Oh my god, there's multiples! Okay, this is a problem. Why are there multiples of them? I'm gonna need a lot more archers here, I think. <laughs> oh my god, when modding goes wrong and you're like, Hey, let's fight one amazing Kai Rider. Oh, how about a million of them? Is a million a good number? And now all you're gonna see is absolute chaos. This is probably why the original game, the non-modded game, has it very, very well balanced to where, like, th not this many units can't be on the field at once. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to beat this. And at some point, I will have to stop and restart. My army's getting wrecked. I think what we did was we started with the wrong units. I've noticed in this mod, and that is some creepy sound effects, that if you let the enemy get too much momentum, they're unstoppable. You need to take the momentum from the beginning. Because while they have a conga line, we can create one super, super strong force that goes out simultaneously. And I think this actually should be enough. We'll even send some Sword Wrath, because I haven't really sent them out yet. So the Golden Legion pins them back, and then the Golden Giants come in. The Golden Archidons are there as well. And look at this. We're already at their statue. Or rather, we're almost there. There's already a Kai on foot. And it's the, the, the cool thing about the Kai is that, look at that. Here we go. Let's turn around. Actually, let's kite a little bit. I want to give them a little bit of time here so we can see a Kai Rider go down and fall, although his body will be very difficult to see. <laughs> yeah, you get too much momentum in this and it is downright over. So now that that's done, we need to go back and fight Westwind here. This is the only one we haven't done. So I wish I made it so that the units would actually pop up. There's a number of different upgrades and changes we could do. But this is ultimately to see, like, kind of, at a cursory glance, what would it look like to have a golden faction in Stick War Legacy? And yes, I almost said totally accurate battle simulator. Maybe that'd be a fun tabs mod. It's a Stick War Legacy mod for tabs. I don't know. Or maybe a tabs mod for Stick War Legacy. There's so many possibilities. But you can see that at least their unit build time is a little bit decreased. And this is what it looks like when they're absolutely getting wrecked. So we'll pull back just for a moment. We'll probably lose a number of very brave infantry here. Look at that. The splash damage just absolutely wrecking their statue. Okay, now let's fight them here. Because one salvo of smashes here should be enough. Oh, there we go. It took two to destroy all of their giants. There's the statue crumbling. And I haven't built any more units. And I didn't really need to. Now at this point, the one thing we haven't tried is endless deads. Now the Golden Legion is going to be absolutely incredible, I think. I love the intro cinematic too. It's kind of like a cartoon with a little bit of rain effects. But essentially it shows one of the most beloved and wise and powerful characters in all of Stick War Legacy. Our magic ill friend here who I'm going to call... Fangolf, after another wizard. <laughs> but essentially, we're building up camp, and what happens? Well, it is called Endless Deads, isn't it? And you're like, oh, we found gold here. 
I'll make a fire. Oh no, what is that? Ah, it's the deads. Now, since this is the first time we played it on this account, because I do have two separate stick war accounts, one for mods and one for my main one where I've dumped a lot of money. Oh no, Gandalf is dead. I can't skip this, but it's a, it's a fantastic cinematic. So let's see, do we have the Golden Legion? Can one giant support it, hold off? Let's see, actually. Now, are there gonna be like endless? Are they, I mean, it is called endless deads, is it not? So I don't see that we're gonna have too much problem. But if you guys wanna see the Golden Legion versus the endless deads, we can do that. And we could even make it a series if need be on Baron Von Tactics. We'll probably be able to get up to like wave 100 or something like that, but it's modded. So it's like, I don't even want to get that high and like achieve these things and not want to do it on my main account. I want to do all of these on the main accounts by having limitations in fighting against the endless hordes of the zombies. There's just a thrill to it, but look at how easily the Golden Legion's giant can just absolutely decimate them. <laughs> I need to change that animation. Huzzah! We've been victorious! Whoa, why is the giant still walking? There's nothing over there, friend. Haven't we achieved victory? And there's the knight going down. We basically have to wait till the moon drops all the way. And we've survived another night. The blood moon rises. That's when the vampires attack. Night one! Hello. Maybe they weren't expecting us to win this easily. Huzzah! Night one. We've done it. Man, it's been so long. And now you get to upgrade it, and so this is what they look like. The golden giant, the golden spiritin is just the classic look. We didn't go with the Kichu one here for the golden archidin. I wanted to make him look a little bit different, although Kichu does look impressive. And I think for the Golden Legion, they should have the Corinthian style golden helmets. But anyway, guys, let me know which mod or faction we could mod into Stick War Legacy in the future. Now, over on the other channel, I've been playing the weekly missions, which aren't on this modded version, but generally the, uh, the devs have asked me and said, hey, reach out to the community and see what kind of levels they would like to see in Stick War Legacy. So come on over to Baron Von Tactics, hit the subscribe button, and watch a bunch of fun mobile games. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend and your Halloween was great. And I'll see you guys in the next video.